up guys welcome back to Seize the Speed for another review and today to the left side of me we have a 2023 Volkswagen Tiguan SE let's get into it so the Tiguan is considered to be a mid-size SUV this thing uh, in the Volkswagen lineup stands between the Taos and the Atlas there's a review on the Atlas I did a couple years ago link up here but as far as the styling of this thing goes it's a sensible Volkswagen nothing too offensive about it you know, this uh, back, sloping back looks kind of on par with the rest of the Volkswagen SUVs. So the front of the Tiguan continues the classic Volkswagen looks. You have the big Volkswagen emblem right here. You have your parking sensors all through the front, headlights with daytime running light. So under the hood of the Volkswagen Tiguan, we have a two liter four cylinder turbocharged engine making 184 horsepower. This engine is actually very similar to what is in the new Volkswagen GTI. It's actually detuned in this car. So I'm excited to drive it and see how it actually drives. If you wanna see a GTI review, link up here. So coming back to the rear end of the Tiguan, you can see the tail lights, the hatch design, Tiguan right under the Volkswagen logo. One really ugly thing Volkswagen really needs to stop doing is this fake exhaust tips um i don't even know if i can call it that it's not really a it's not even a cutout it's just kind of a silhouette they did the actual exhaust uh pipes point down to the ground but um please just just make this a fair plastic piece i'm tired of looking at these fake exhaust tips but aside that let's get into the actual trunk space of the tiguan one more thing before we get to the trunk is this absolutely bizarre chrome uh, trim thing that's i think 130 dollar option on this one um, and it absolutely blinds you um, in the backup camera and also this is supposed to be a protective piece for the paint but they decided to do it in chrome which is uh, a scratch magnet so uh, i would assume this isn't going to age very well on this car getting into the trunk of the tiguan this one particularly doesn't have the auto lift gate option but when you open the back you see a decent amount of space back here um uh, especially with the third row down yes this thing has a third row and you can open them up like that and now you have uh, a lot less space but you can carry another row of passengers with you uh i mean that is in air quotes i'll show you in a little bit but let's pull these down and if you need to carry like something like a christmas tree something bigger you can just press that there you go you can fold down the front seats and um you can either sleep back here carry more cargo all that good stuff hopping into the back seat of the volkswagen tiguan I am sitting behind, uh, you know, something close to my own seating position. I have decent leg room and I have pretty reasonable headroom back here, especially due to the panoramic sunroof. However, the real question is, can I fit in the third row of this thing? You see, this is a mid-size SUV, so having a third row is actually pretty unique. This thing actually is on rail, so lifts forward. I'm gonna see if I can, oh God. <coughs> so it's a little bit of a pain, but I'm in here. Let's see if I can lift the seat back. So as you can see, my knee is already touching this. Real question is, there goes my feet. Oh, that does not feel good. A little more. Ugh. Nope. Nope. That's a, that's a no. So the back seats maybe for short distance, maybe you can steal some of your front passengers. Uh, leg room but long distances or adults in general is a no but you could probably fit your children back there semi comfortably and this is the new volkswagen key i know a lot of us complained about the switchblade um but this isn't necessarily the way to do it either um however on these uh newer key fobs you do have uh auto stop start which is pretty neat um so and I start the car, hop in the interior. Got the welcome coming up from Volkswagen. Um, click the button and we are ready to go. So cars coming to life, making a bunch of bings and bongs. V6 
We got the stereo in the center, which is a fingerprint magnet. So the Tiguan also has wireless uh, Android Auto, as you can see, and also Apple CarPlay. Um, there's your regular radio with all the copyrighted music. <laughs> So the digital dash is actually decently nice, but I do miss actual dials in some cars. Like it is modern, it's kind of cool, it's responsive. However, it's just kind of looking a little cheap. Like it's just, they slap the screen right in the middle and then there's all this dead space on the side. If you press this button on the steering wheel, you can scroll through these three options. I mean, it's still gonna just give you the center screen. That's not a whole lot going on. This car has a couple of driver assists. You can have, uh, you can see your blind spot monitoring system. It also has key lane assist. It also has parking sensors front and rear. It has a decent backup camera. Um, you know, the quality is reasonable. It's a good size. The steering feel in this car is non-existent. It feels like uh, you're playing Forza, but it does make it a comfortable ride. It is a nice vehicle to be in on a daily basis. It's just not a whole lot of feedback to the point where uh, I would say it's kind of vague, especially in turns. Um, it is a front wheel drive vehicle. So when you punch it, there is some torque steer and it's hard to manage it with this thing. As I mentioned, this thing comes with a automatic eight speed transmission and you can put it in sport mode like that. You can have it manual shifting. We'll explore that a little bit more when I drive it. We have heated seats in the SE model. So speaking of fingerprint magnets, you have uh, a variety of them and all your uh, AC climate controls are touch. So this is how they function. It's uh, just, it doesn't give you enough feedback when you're driving. So you don't know if you actually press something Like you can just go like that. And now you have max fan. It's kind of hard to like, put it in the exact position you want. I would much appreciate having actual buttons on a climate control, but this is what you get in this car. You have a couple of uh, USB-C ports, a cigarette lighter down there, and you also have a wireless charging pad over here. On the SE, you do get power driver seat, which is nice, but then the rest of the seats, including this one, are manually adjustable. Another slight annoyance in this car is the cover for the panoramic moonroof. So when you press this button, it takes quite a long time for it to, you know, fold all the way back. About now. Um, but when it is open, it actually looks pretty nifty. I really like the look of this. It opens up the interior. I think it's a 1200 option and the front piece also opens so you can get a massive opening out the roof all right driving the volkswagen tiguan se so this thing's reasonably comfortable on the road the suspension is not too stiff and at the same time it's not too wobbly doesn't have a whole lot of body roll for being a taller vehicle it's actually fairly planted there's a lot of engine noise coming in here for it being a uh, you know little family car so based on whether you like that or not you're gonna hear that little four cylinder all right dropping this thing into sport mode let's see what it has to offer And it keeps you in gear when you put it in sport mode so it doesn't lose power. Transmission shifts smooth enough. It's nowhere near as good as a DSG though. But I guess you don't really need a DSG in, uh, in this car. But it would definitely make it a lot more fun if it did have one. As I mentioned, handling is actually pretty good for a vehicle of this size. It feels a lot smaller than it is. It, really drives kind of just like a taller golf like you can take corners at higher speeds and it really just sticks to the road and goes where it needs to go biggest issue though is the steering feel it's just non-existent you're kind of going by by your guess you don't really feel the tires on the road at all which i mean is not just a volkswagen thing it's a it's a new car thing now with electronic power steering but this one in particular is really dead. 
getting on a straight, got to punch it. Okay. It's not bad for something of this size and this price range. Definitely moves. You put your foot down. It, it does feel like something that has sub 200 horsepower, though. It's not the fastest thing. Um, it has the necessary pickup to get up and go, you know, in traffic, but um, nothing more than that to be expected. Uh, it's not necessarily any laggy or anything. The boost situation is good. It comes on on time. It's just, it, it, it is what it is. It's what comes with 180 something horsepower and, um, you know, weighing as much as a seven seater SUV. But on the highway, it feels nice, it feels planted. However, it is kind of loud on the highway though for it being a Volkswagen, you know, being a European vehicle, it's not the quietest, right? You do hear some wind noise and some tire noise coming into the cabin. As far as the self-driving features in this car, you do have adaptive cruise control pretty much. Like most modern cars, you have your key plane assist. So it will steer for you as long as you keep your hands on the wheel. And also it'll keep its distance uh, for the car in front. Um, so we're gonna see what that's gonna be like. So for something, you know, sub $40,000, it is actually pretty sophisticated. It's not bad at all, you could trust it. So another thing that I find annoying, but I complain about in every single car so I'm starting to sound like a broken record but is the auto stop start I'm not a big fan of it but it is a modern um, you know fuel efficiency thing I don't really know how big of a improvement there we go it really is on a car but it's just annoying as heck you can of course turn it off or put it in sport mode and um, it won't bother you anymore but it's something to keep in mind Beside that, the Volkswagen Tiguan is actually a pretty interesting little seven-seater to drive around town. Um, you have adequate room, you have decent power to get on, you know, get on a on-ramp or something like that. You can have enough room for uh, smaller children in the third row seats. Um, you can carry a lot of cargo in it. It's a pretty interesting cargo storage situation. Um, it does get decent gas mileage. It gets, I think, 24, 3 city and um, 30 highway. I think combined is around 26. Um, so, you know, not crazy highway uh, hybrid numbers, but pretty respectable for something of this size. This particular one has an MSRP of around $34,000. Um, and this is kind of like the mid uh, grade model. There is an SEL above this. And that's all I have for this vehicle. So let me know if you have a Tiguan or a Volkswagen, what's your ownership experience like? If you're thinking about getting one of these, you know, what else you're cross shopping it with? Um, leave all that stuff for me down in the comments below. We'll have a good conversation about it. But as far as this video goes, this one is over. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, subscribe if you're not. Have a great day, peace out, and I'm out.